Hi, everyone. Thanks for listening in on the Appfolio Investment Management's discussion of the digital revolution of investor relations and fundraising. I'm Mike Sebastian, industry principal at Appfolio. I've been in real estate technology for 14 years, working with many different asset classes, including multifamily, office, industrial, and retail, and in many other types of assets uh, other than real estate. I've worked with investment management clients for over 10 years, ranging from small offices and syndications to large private equity funds and institutions. I've worked with clients to help them leverage state-of-the-art software to streamline business processes around the entire life cycle of real estate, starting with fundraising and investor relations, acquisition and underwriting, investment management reporting through property management and construction. To better understand this shift that we're seeing in real estate investment management, uh, where critical processes like investor relations and fundraising are being moved to digital formats, we'll first take a look at a few data points. My team at Appfolio surveyed a group of over 100 investors to get an idea of what they expect from their investment managers at this time. To get started, let's take a look at why investors choose to invest with an investment management company in the first place. We're seeing that investors look to investment management companies for market and financial expertise and professional property management. The financial expertise piece can be especially important when it comes to fundraising. Investment managers can showcase their expertise by finding new properties, being knowledgeable about their investment market, and keeping up on industry trends. Digging deeper here, when we asked investors to rate the importance of the following items on a five-point scale, the biggest takeaway was that investors want everything and the bar is high. Investors expect high levels of service and performance without any trade-offs. All of these areas are important for investment managers trying to stay competitive. The interesting thing to also point out here is that the use of modern technology can help you to deliver on really all the items on this list. I'll get into that later in this discussion. You'll have a mix of involvement here, but we're really seeing that expectations are high and investors want to be engaged with their investment management companies. And although they work with an investment management company, over 75% of investors take a hands-on approach when it comes to managing their real estate investments. Another interesting finding is that the level of involvement is related to the amount of money investors have invested. Higher spenders are often more involved and lower spenders tend to be less involved. One thing to point out here is that there is an opportunity to change the narrative that high involvement equals high maintenance. We're seeing scenarios where you can provide this level of involvement to investors at a scale by leveraging technology tools that are emerging. It's also good to remember that while 75% of investors report that they take a hands-on approach, they do not necessarily want to spend large amounts of time managing their investments. Investor expectations are changing. The last few data points have really been building up to this general thing that we're seeing that these expectations are changing. As you can see by the data, investors are expecting more information than ever, and they want a diverse mix of information. Notice the top three uh, parts of the graph here, both uh, rank very high, but are also easily automated by systems like Appfolio Investment Management to a large degree. So where do your investors get their information from? The data really ties back to the importance of building credibility with your investors. So we're seeing that most investors turn to media outlets to stay up to date on real estate industry news and trends. Also worth mentioning that they do, they do view investment managers as trusted source of information. But while one-on-one -on -one conversations are important for building investor relationships, it's very difficult to deliver at scale, as you know. And, uh, that's where we're starting to see digital technology begin to play a very important role. All right, now we want to dig into how investor relations are being transformed by digital technology. I define investor relations as any activities in your business that rely on working directly with your investors. When investment managers take their investor relations digital, one of the primary outcomes we're seeing is an increase in transparency and accessibility. And this, is, this, of course, leads to greater credibility and trust. Here are three ways digitally managed investor relations can help create transparency and accessibility. The first is that you're able to provide on-demand access for information. We know investors are always looking for information, and it's critical to provide investors with 24-7 access to important investment information that investors can access at any time. 
This approach will instill confidence in your business and will ensure your investors are receiving the level of involvement and transparency that they're expecting. The second piece is that digital investor relations will allow you to distribute important reporting information as soon as possible. Frequent reporting that contains important details about investment performance is critical to, uh, to raise investor expectations. Finally, I think it's important to address that many investment managers might be wary of taking their investor relations fully digital for fear that they'll lose the important white glove experience they provide with their investors. In reality, this isn't the case. Connecting with your investors via digital technology tools will allow you to communicate more frequently with them, while all, all while uh, still providing personalized touch that uh, touches at scale. So now I wanna take you through some of the specific digital technology tools that you can use to optimize investor relations. But before we dive into it, I wanted to share one final data point that my team was able to collect. For this data, we asked a group of investors who are provided an investor portal by their managers. Uh, investor portals are software solutions that help investment management companies effectively communicate with their investors in a variety of ways. I'll show an example investor portal in a moment, but I first wanted to discuss why they're important from the perspective of investors. We can see that investors primarily use their investor portals to view performance metrics, but an important takeaway here is the value that the portal can bring and the importance of having an investor portal that includes a variety of features to meet these different needs. Here's a look at an example of an investor portal. This is actually a preview of the type of investor portal we build at Appfolio Investment Management for our clients who are investment management companies. The investor portal is designed to give investors 24 seven on demand access to important investment information. Everything from promoting new offerings, details on active investments, online contributions, K1s and documents, everything is in real time and information can be posted securely to the portal at any time. This tool can really be your best asset for instilling confidence in your business and it'll ensure your investors are receiving the level of transparency they expect. You can connect investors instantly to important investment information by frequently updating performance metrics or create a tangible experience by uploading recent photos, videos, uh, and narrative of the project. This extra level of insight really takes investors, you know, it makes investors feel connected to their GPs. And at the end of the day, looking as professional as possible is paramount when you're asking people for money. Here's another view of, of information that you might see on an investor portal. Again, just different kinds of graphs, uh, metrics, performance data, cap tables, things like this that investors would wanna see. Now we'll take a look at other aspects aspects of the investment management business, uh, how the investment management business is being transformed by technology. I think of this category as your back office, anything having to do with how you're operating your business and investments, collecting documents, tracking signatures, fundraising, K1s, distributions, of course, and also email communications and statements and reports. So investment management today if you don't have a software solution, and even in some older solutions, it's a very manual process. We're all used to seeing different spreadsheets with cap tables, maybe cap tables per deal, waterfall calculations. These take a lot of time to maintain, a lot of time to set up. They can be error prone. And what happens if the person who creates the model leaves the business? There's a lot of different problems with this model and how it's being run today. In contrast, taking your investment management fully digital can tremendously improve business process efficiency. There is a difference between working out uh, to, of a truly digital technology tool versus the spreadsheet I showed in my previous slide. Digital investment management allows you to keep all important information in one organized place that all of your team members can collaborate out of. So when the opportunity arises in the upcoming months, your team will be fully prepared for it. Second, there's a cost to not having your investment management digital. And it's that you're putting your business at risk. Take a hard look at your security end to end throughout all your processes. Look across every element of your business and check its security. For example, are your subscription documents and investor information protected? If you're just emailing them out, then they're not. Uh, is all information fully encrypted? Technology tools that have been built for investment management ensure security. 
Finally, technology tools built for real estate investment management allows for teams to be agile and quickly execute on their business model. In this uh, world, this is more important than, than ever before. So speaking of business process efficiency, um, investment management, a fully investment management has a number of different things that help automate or uh, digitize parts of your business, organizing everything together, making it more easy to report to investors, make it easier to do things like fundraising, which is the uh, one of the examples I have up here. This is a representation or a mock-up. It's not an exact screenshot of, of our product, but the purpose of showing you this is we all know that fundraising is the lifeblood of most software or of more, most uh, uh, real estate organizations. And when you can digitize and, and, and streamline these processes, you can reduce the amount of time it takes to get the, the capital and then to deploy the capital. And so that just means a lot more money in your pocket that much faster. It's critical at this time and in this, this, this point in time, as a lot of companies are gaining a ton of efficiencies by going digital with these types of processes, organizing everything together, having a set of tools where investors can um, digitally sign online, get the information, the pitch books faster, uh, and do that in a distributed way. And so that's really the value we see in tools, not just like fundraising, but there's a lot of other pieces of this puzzle as well that can allow you to scale and grow like you haven't ever been able to do before. And your competition is doing it, so it's important to consider that when you look at software tools like this. The digital revolution of investor relations and fundraising is here, and my team at Appfolio is helping lead the charge with a set of powerful tools designed for real estate investment management. We work to create purpose-built software that helps investment managers streamline their process and effectively communicate with investors. I will be continuing the conversation with a deeper dive in our workshop session titled How to Leverage Technology to Impress Investors and Streamline Fundraising. And I hope to see you all there. If you're interested in speaking with our product experts for a virtual demo, please stop by the Appfolio Investment Management Demo booth at this summit. Thanks for watching.